Jin Dobri Cheshna Lo. Today, guys, I'm going to be telling you about five different American concepts that I think Polish people don't really understand a whole lot. And basically, today, I'm just going to share my American perspective on these concepts. And maybe you're going to learn something today, or maybe I'm just going to provide a different perspective than what you were thinking before. So without further ado, let's just get started. All right, so the first one on my list is poverty. Now, America has a lot of different areas with you know higher and lower amounts of poverty. And obviously, this ranges from different areas and regions of the U.S., but still, the U.S. has lots of areas with poverty and lots of different areas that I would describe as sketchy where, you know, you just don't want to be walking at night. Now, the percentage of homeless people in the U.S. is 0.17%, which is about half a million people, whereas in Poland, it's around 0.08%, and that's around 33,000 people. So there's at least half a million homeless people here. You know, the U.S. isn't just a place of, you know, tons of money, gold, in this American dream that everyone's, you know, told to believe. There's still homelessness. There's still, you know, lots of poverty here and, you know, gangs and violence and murders and all of that sort of thing. And I think a lot of Polish people put America, you know, behind this glitz and glamour type of thing first without realizing that the American dream doesn't always work out for people and poverty and homelessness is still definitely a big thing here. And a lot of people argue that the earnings are higher here, but, you know, honestly, Honestly, so is pretty much everything else and I mean look at areas like San Francisco and Los Angeles where there's just entire streets that are filled with homeless people in tents and there's basically many cities here of homeless people in the US and I feel like this is something that Polish people don't really realize is that there's lots of poor people here in the US all right so the second point on my list is guns so around 40% of American households have one or more guns in their home and I remember being in Poland asking people if they've ever you know shot a gun or owned one etc and really actually every single person except like one person that I've talked to actually owned or shot one and that person was like a farmer who actually was shooting animals on their property and when Polish people were asking me about guns and you know if I've been to shooting ranges and you know shot guns and owned guns etc and people would give me strange looks like I was almost a criminal and yeah I feel like this is kind of a big difference between our cultures is guns and a lot of Polish people that I've talked to were actually really anti-gun you know hated guns completely wanted them gone abolished etc and this honestly kind of surprised me because you know Polish history was about other nations coming over to Poland capturing Poland and basically stripping Poland of in, in Polish people of all their rights and you know weapons and things like that to even defend themselves so yeah it's surprising to me to this day that a lot of Polish people are you know really anti-gun so it's kind of a big part of our lives and culture here in the US is guns and I feel like this is something that Polish people just really don't understand about America in general. So my third one on this list is race. And that is that in the U.S., you know, we're surrounded by all these different races, you know, obviously white, black, Asian, you know, Hispanic, etc., etc. All right. So what I could find here is that in the U.S., 63 percent of the population is white and then the rest make up the minority groups. And whereas comparing that to Poland, I could find that 96.7 of the population is Polish. So you could say that Poland is a homogenous society and is not really used to many different races, you know, from other different areas. Now, am I saying that Poland is racist? No, not at all. I don't think Polish people are racist one bit. You can actually check out my stereotypes video that I made on Poland itself. And I think I actually covered this topic in that video. So growing up, a big part of our history classes, we're usually going over, you know, different races or things like that you know, in the 60s with black people. We're used to all of these different races coming together and, you know, living together, etc. So why am I talking about this? Well, I think it's interesting to me that, you know, if a black person makes a video about Poland, talking about Poland, you know, their, their opinions, you know, what it's like being black, you know, in Poland, I think that's pretty interesting and that just goes to show that it's something that Polish people don't really understand about America. And so there's all of these different videos about, you know, black people in Poland or, you know, black people reacting to Polish music, etc. Where I think, you know, Poles are just not really used to seeing other races at all, which is pretty interesting to me. All right, so the fourth one on this list is student loans. Okay, imagine being 22 years old with $56,000 of debt. Now, a year later, luckily that loan is around 20 something thousand dollars but still that's a lot of money and I hate having that you know on my shoulders so once I graduated and it just hit me the realization that I had so much of debt 
you know, I couldn't really sleep at night. And this is such a big thing for Americans, you know. When I was 18 years old, I didn't really understand how loans worked in general. And I didn't really understand that when I graduated four years later that I would have so much in loans. And if I could go back to my 18 year old self, I actually never would have gone to school in the US. I would have honestly tried to go to school in Poland or, you know, done a trade here in the US or either join the military. But I definitely wouldn't have gone to school like I did. And yeah, I've talked to people who are working at a hotel or McDonald's or Walmart, you know, these basic entry level jobs that have these degrees and they can't even do anything with it. Or I've talked to managers in high up places and they didn't even go to school at all. Instead, they just worked their way up. So I would honestly argue that college degrees are absolutely useless in the US. Unless it's a law degree, you're gonna be a doctor, or you know one of those or scientists you know where those are absolutely required then i think going to school is actually a good thing but also just remember that you know medical school is not cheap and i've heard of medical students you know coming out with five hundred thousand dollars of debt now obviously they're making you know over a hundred thousand every year so they can pay it off you know pretty easily but imagine the students that fail and drop out and you know they're left with like three hundred thousand dollars without even a degree or a piece of paper at the end of the time. And so for the Polish people out there, I realize that, you know, for most jobs, you really have to have a degree, but just realize and be thankful that at least you don't have to pay for it and be a slave because at the end of the day, a borrower is a slave to the lender. All right, so the fifth one on my list is obesity. So around 40% of Americans are obese, okay? That's, that's a lot, that's a big number. And that also includes 7.6% of those have severe obesity, which I'm pretty sure means like, you know, their movement is impaired, you know, whether that's walking or, you know, just sitting up. Like some people can't even get up because they're so large. And so you can watch these shows. I mean, look them up like TLC, My 600 Pound Life, where, you know, there's a big audience of people who are just watching these people and trying to lose weight. Okay, so if a Polish person were to ask me, you know, why are we obese? Because, you know, we have McDonald's here. We have all of these, you know, chips and bad food here in Poland, right? So why, you know, what, what do we have that, you know, Americans don't that's getting Americans fat? I honestly think it's just from our culture of not walking, having to drive everywhere, also just handing things out to people to make them lazy. For example, there's these carts at Walmart that I've never seen someone who's injured or hurt or an old person actually using them. And instead, I've actually only seen fat people using them who can completely walk and like, you know, they're fine with walking, but they just take a lazy route out of things. And this is something that really, really surprised my girlfriend because she's never seen people so large to the point where they couldn't even walk and they had so much mass to their bodies that they really just couldn't even move at all and you can look in their cart and they're just buying soda and mountain dew and all this stuff and they're not walking at all and yeah i think this is just something that polish people don't really understand about the u.s and frankly i don't either because in my family we've always had you know a history of fitness and being active another thing is that our food is so artificial and it's just pumped with sugar to make us so addicted to it and I think that in general takes a large role in obesity in America. And there's also these different movements here in America, you know, like fat acceptance and all of that. And what they do is try to promote, you know, being big and, you know, loving your body, which I think is great that they do that. And a lot of them will argue that, you know, if you're big or overweight, that you can actually still be healthy. And if you're obese or morbidly obese and you exercise, etc., then you're completely healthy and you're fine. When in reality, most of these people are getting ankle problems, knee problems, you know, hip problems or clogged arteries or, you know, having heart problems by the time they're 50. But anyways, I feel like I can make an entire video just on each of these topics that I've talked about so far. And if you guys want me to elaborate on, you know, one of these points a little bit longer or maybe something else entirely, then let me know in the comments section down below. And as always, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Jinko Ei, Dabi